Hi everyone, welcome to Fighter Fitness. Today, we're gonna to do some introductory series. We're gonna have two classes in these introductory series. In the first class, I'm gonna show you some of the upper body movements, some of the punches and blocks. In the second class, I'm gonna show you the bottom half, how we do kicks, how do we do footwork movements. And then, with these basic classes, you're ready for the main fighter series workouts. Let's start now with our introductory class. Let's make sure that we're in the right proper fighting stance. Our feet is gonna be shoulder width apart and then step back about 45 degrees. You're gonna put both of your hands up and cover your chin. From here, we're gonna start with the jabs. With the jab, you're taking your front hand and putting it out there. Front hand and placing it out. Make sure that your palm is facing downwards as you jab out. Your power is gonna come from your waist. So, it's not just gonna come from your arms, you're gonna twist a little bit, just a little bit, so you have your power. Boom, in, boom, in, boom, in. Make sure not to overextend and reach too far forward. That's boom, in, boom, in. Let's do five more. Five, four, three, two, one. All right, now let's shift our stance. I'm gonna teach you a stance shift. Right now, our left leg is forward. Boom. Real quick, now our right leg is forward. This is our southpaw style. Same thing, let's do 10 jabs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Ready? Let's do a stance shift again. Boom. Now we're gonna add a cross. Cross is gonna be your back hand. My left leg is forward, so my cross is gonna come from my right hand. I'm gonna twist in with a punch. Notice that my power is gonna, again, come from my waist as I come back. Boom, come back. We're gonna do this 10 times. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, Two, one. As you're doing these, make sure that you, your left hand is covering your, your face as you punch out. We're gonna do a little bit of basic combination, combining what we learned in step one and step two. The jab, cross. All right, ready? Here we go. One, two, one, two. One, two, one, two. Make all of your snaps, uh, make all of your punches snappy. Boom, retract it back. We're gonna do five, Four, three, two, one. Ready? We're gonna do the other hand now. Quick stance change. Let's practice first. 10 cross punches. Ready? Go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. You might feel that your left hand is awkward relative to your right. That's perfectly okay, and that's normal. As you get used to these, these movements, you're gonna feel comfortable with both hands. Now, let's do the combination. One, two. Three, two, one, go. Jab, cross. One, two. One, two. One, two. One, two. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine, ten. Good. Now again, we're gonna do a quick uh, switch. With these switches, don't be, don't, don't go slow because oftentimes when you go slow, this is when your opponent has the time to attack you. From here, quick switch. All right. We did the jab, the cross. Now we're gonna do the hooks. Hooks across the face. Unlike the jabs and cross, which goes straight forward. The hook is gonna be horizontal. And as you come in, make sure that your arm is parallel with the ground. You're gonna come in and hook around. An exaggerated motion will allow you to turn your waist for that extra power. So you can choose to go quick, boom, or pow, super powerful. 
Again, we're gonna go from the front or in the back. We're gonna do both. First, we're gonna start with front hand cross. 10 times. Three, two, one, go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And now we're gonna go our back hand. With our back hand, you're gonna have to twist your waist more because your waist is in the back. Again, make sure that your hand is at your chin as you're guarding uh, uh, during the guard so that you can protect your chin for counterattacks. Ready? We're gonna do it 10 times. 10, back, 9, back, 8, back, 7, back, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Switch. 10 times. Front hand. Uh, this, would, this is gonna be your right hand. Ready, go. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now we're gonna do our back hand. Come in. One, thing, uh, one more thing I want us to practice is to start releasing our energy and breathing in the proper times. In Taekwondo, we call this a key up. In, in other martial arts, they have different names, right? but they're all it lets you feel epic and it allows you to release your energy as you do your punches. And don't be shy guys, have some fun with these workouts. Ready? In this one we're gonna do 10 on our backhand, but now let's get let's get our energy up there. Let's get our key up ready. Ready? Three, two, one. All right, great job. So those are our three main basic ones. We have one last one. This is the uppercut. Uppercut, uppercut. With the upper uppercut, you're digging in your power from the ground and coming up. So in order to do this, you have to dig in a little bit. So you bend your knees a little bit to dig in and you come up. We're gonna do 10 on the front side and again, 10 on the back side. And practice your hua, hua. Ready? Three, two, one. Hands up. Ha! 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 Back in, and you can explore different types of yells. Some people like. Ha! All right. Ready? Three, two, one. Ha! 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 Switch! Now, I want you guys to practice your breathing. Yell out during the exhale and breathe in as you come in. Yell out when you're attacking and breathe in so that you have proper pace. Out, in. Out, in. Ha! Ha! Breathe in. Ha! Breathe in. Ready? 10 times front hand, 10 times back hand. Three, two, one. Ha! 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 And 10 times back hand. And our last one, let's make it super epic. Ha! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ha! All right, you get that super epic feeling. You start to feel like a fighter. We're gonna teach you one more arm strike movement, but this time it's gonna be elbow. The elbow strikes, there's different types. You can go horizontal cross, you can go upwards, but right now we're gonna learn a downward elbow strike. With this downward elbow strike, you're attacking the opponent's neck and going at a 45 degree angle coming down. Your other hand, of course, is still blocking your chin to avoid the counter attacks. Ready? We're gonna do only our back, back hand. So if our left leg is forward, we're gonna do a downward elbow strike with our right hand. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Bwah! Come back. These we can go slower. Bwah! Come back. Bwah! Come back. Bwah! 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 Seven! Bwah! 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 Always gotta make the last one epic. Ready? Change your stance. And all the way. Three, 
two, one, go. Blah! 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 All right. Of course, martial arts, kickboxing is not about just the offense. Sometimes you have to do some defensive maneuvers. With defense, you can do either dodging or blocking. First, I'm gonna teach you guys some basic blocks. Let's get back into our fighting stance with 45 degrees. The most basic block is the inside block. As the punch is coming in, you're blocking the punch across your body. Other way, across your body. Other way, across your body. The next one then, it's gonna be outside block. You're coming in, and you're blocking towards the outside. Coming inside, across your body, and you're blocking towards the outside. Okay, let's practice first our inside blocks, which is we're coming from outside our body, blocking towards inside, outside, blocking inside. Ready? We're gonna do 10 times, but on both hands. Five, four, three, two, one. Block, back, block, back, block, back, block, back. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Switch stance. Ready? 10 times of these. Five, four, three, two, one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch. Now we're gonna do outside block. Inside, blocking out. I've been doing knife hand strikes because this is the martial arts, the taekwondo form, but you can also do fist block, knife block, however you want. Right? The idea is coming in and coming out. Coming in, coming out. Or if you want to do a fist, coming in, coming out. Coming in, coming out. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Pa! 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 Nine, last one, ten. Good job. Ready for a switch? Three, two, one, switch. Other side. Three, two, one, go. Pa! Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Great job. Now we're gonna do two more blocks. We're gonna do low block and high block. But to make things more fun, let's combine them both in one. Your single low block is gonna come from your high. Start from high and then come low. And your blo high block is gonna start from low and block high. So, we're gonna go boom, pow. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Boom, pow. Back to your fighting stance. Boom, pow. Fighting stance. Two, pa. Boom, pa. Boom, pa. Boom, pa. Boom, pa. Pa, ha. So three more. Three, ha. Two more. Two, ha. One more. Two, ha. Good. Now, on our other side, we're still gonna do from high to low. And then from low to high. Ready? Three, two, one, go. Two, ha, two, ba, two, ba, two, ha, six, two, seven, two, eight, two, nine, two, ten. Nice. All right, we have one more little thing to do for this last intro series of your punches. We're not gonna just be stationary while we do those punches. So far, we've just stayed still because we want to make sure that we're grounded. When we're doing our punches or our kicks, we never wanna feel out of balance. So, we're gonna practice a little bit of movement and learning how to time our punches with movement. If you feel like you need to cover distance in front of you, you can shift your legs, boom, in front. 
Same thing towards the back. Boom, shifting your legs. Shift to the front, shift to the back. As you do this, you can combine it with punches. So we can also do, if your opponent's far away, pow, pow, back. All right, let's practice a little bit of foot movements first before we add in the punches. Let's do just 10 shuffles. Shuffle in, shuffle back. After that, we'll combine these leg movements with punches, pow, pow, and back. All right, three, two, one, just shuffle. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. As you get comfortable with this, make sure that your weight is directly between your two legs. You don't want to shuffle and your weight is back here, right? And you also don't want to shuffle with your weight too far in front. As you shuffle, your weight is in between. And as you do these shuffle with punches, same thing. You don't want to have your weight too much in front or behind. So I don't want to see shuffle in, and your weight is coming all the way out here. All right, control your body, control your movements. Coming in, one, two. Your body is still between your legs. Ready? We're gonna do 10 times with the one, two combination. Three, two, one, go. Other times, other side. We gotta learn to shuffle both sides. Now your front leg is in front, your, your right leg is in front, your left leg is behind. You do 10 shuffles first. Three, two, one, go. Boom. 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 Four, five, six, back. Seven, back. Eight, back. Nine, back. 10, back. As you're shuffling, make sure that you're going with your toes and landing in with, your, with, the, with the front side of your legs. You don't want to be flat-footed and land like that. That's what they mean when it's flat-footed, when you're landing with the entirety of your feet. You don't want to land with the entirety of your feet, just the ball side of your legs with your, with your heels a little bit off the ground. You don't have to be high heels, but just a little bit off for quick agility. Ready? Now we're gonna do the one, two punch. Three, two, one, go. All right, great job everyone. And now we're gonna do one last movement. The last movement is gonna be our hooks. But we're gonna do, we're gonna practice our switches as well. Boom, boom. So what we're gonna do is switch. And as we switch, we're gonna do back hand uppercut, front hand hook. And then we're gonna switch. Back hand uppercut, front hand hook. I know this might be confusing at first. And this is part of why martial arts is a great trigger for your brain. It practices your motions and it allows you to develop body mechanics. All right, so you're gonna do a switch, backhand uppercut, front hand hook. Ready, five, four, three, two, one. Switch, uppercut, hook. 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 Switch, uppercut, hook, switch, uppercut, hook, two more, switch, uppercut, hook, last one, switch, uppercut, hook. All right, great job, everyone. So this is the first part of your introductory to fighter fitness. I hope you guys have learned a little bit of the basics about punches and footwork movements. In the next part, we're gonna add in how to do kicks. So you have some basic foundation for your full body. And I'll see you guys next time.